Alright, what I'd like to show you guys is how to solve a system of equations uh, using elimination. On here we have two, two equations, 2x minus y equals negative 4, and negative 4x plus 2y equals 6. And one thing to think about before when we're saying solve a system, we need to find an x and a y value that is going to satisfy both of these equations. So, um, to go ahead and do that, by using elimination, the reason why we use elimination, what we're doing is we're either adding or subtracting our two equations. And what we're doing is we're actually eliminating a variable. Because when you have two equations and two variables, you can only solve for one variable at one time. So we're going to eliminate one variable, solve for a variable that we choose, and then once we find that variable, then we can, then once we know what one variable is, we can plug it into one of the equations and find the other variable. So the first thing I want to do is I want to determine um, what variable is going to be easy, easiest to eliminate. And actually looking at these two um, variables, um, if I add both equations right now, no, neither of my variables will be eliminated. If I add these two up, um, this is a positive 2x and a minus 4x, that's going to give me a negative 4x. And adding these two equations up here, this is going to give me a negative, uh, that will give me a, a y. So, however, if I multiply by 2 though, I can go ahead and let's say I just want to get rid of the x. If I multiply by 2 on this x, then what would happen is I'd get a 4x. And 4x, my, 4x plus a negative 4x would give me 0x. So what I'm going to do is, I'll write this over here, let's go ahead and multiply the top equation by 2. And one thing for you guys to notice is, or to understand, when you're multiplying an equation by 2, you need to make sure that you multiply the whole equation by 2. A lot of students, they want to get rid of the x and they just multiply that by 2. You have to multiply the whole equation, or the equation won't be true again, right? Remember, it goes back to that property of equality um, with multiplication. If you're multiplying on one side, you got to multiply on the other side. Well, if you're multiplying anything on a number, you got to multiply the whole equation. So therefore, now I'm going to obtain 4x minus 2y equals negative 8. So I'm just going to rewrite that on top of my second equation so it's easier for you guys to see how I'm adding. So I'm going to have 4x minus 2y equals a negative 8 plus negative 4x plus 2y equals 6. And now when I add my equations, actually I get a 0x plus a 0y equals negative 2. 0 equals negative 2. So is 0 ever going to equal negative 2? No. No, 0 is always going to equal 0, correct? So what I have here is I have no solution, okay? And what no solution means on a solution is that you're going to now have parallel lines, okay? And a quick thing that you guys can also look at when you're determining no solutions or one solution or infinite solutions, if you guys look at the problem, you can tell that these are, this is just a factor of two, correct? You can just tell that you just multiply by two and you get the same answer, right? You just multiply, actually multiply by negative two, you get the same answer. And the one thing to determine if they're parallel, either they're parallel or they're the same line. If they're the same line, your, your C in your standard equation would exactly be the same. But since these are different, you know their y-intercept is going to be different, so therefore they're going to be parallel. But if the C in the standard equation, ax plus by equals C, if their C was the same, then you know that their y-intercept would be the same, and therefore they'd be the same line. Anyways, that's how you solve system equations using elimination.